we have from Manila Times, Tessa Mauricio. Hello, good afternoon. Um, the discussion has been very interesting, no, with regard to the views of the Parejo, the family, and all of that. But um, a question because quite simple, actually, I don't know if maybe the writer might want to answer. Yung, yung title lang po, bakit po naging dearly beloved? Because, yes, usually we think of, of diba, a priest saying this. Exactly. <laughs> well, ito yung writer din na lang Exactly. Uh -huh. Yun yung irony kasi nun. Yun yung ginagamit para sa mga tao kinakasal. Tapos yung kwento namin, hindi nila ma-achieve yun. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> ano, parang gano'n. So, or this is a struggle. Ano siya? Para siyang ginto na ang hirap ma-achieve. Parang gano'n. <laughs> So, we just take it from yung, yes. yung first words maninig mo. Pag you're living up, di ba? Si Father. Yes. Okay. Doon talaga. Yan talaga yan. Ay, no. Si Aileen na kaisa. Uh -huh. Alright. Because it is quite curious eh, to think yeah. about it ngayon para medyo... Like it makes sense. It makes sense. Diba? Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Um, and then, well, Byron has been talking a lot about the children in the movie, no? Of course, yung realidad na pinapakita natin, um, they're very much involved and yun nga yung contention. Kung, kung sino, uh, you know, who will you choose if you had to choose? Ano yung mga difficult questions ng mga bata na na sali dito sa pelikula na to, just to show how how difficult it is also not just for a couple but for the children that um, the two of you also realize na po ang hirap pala pag natanong ka ng, ng bata na gano'n. Ano? It's hard to explain yung situation kung bakit Nandito yung isa, bakit yung biglang yung kapatid mo biglang nandun sa kabila? So, how would you explain that? Yun, number one. Mahirap yun yung paliwanag ng ano eh. Yung parang, uh, mahirap siya ipaliwanag ng parang one, two, three. Hindi ganun. Parang ang dami mo mo ng paikotin bago makuha yun. Pero, I'm sure kahit na-explain mo na yung bata, hindi yun ganun kadaling maintindihan. Kasi basic lang naman yung ano eh, yung, yung analog yun yung bata. Yung ABC, ganun lang eh. Pero diba? So, yun, mahirap yun. May, 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 may ganong, uh, ganong moments. Tapos, meron din yung mga parts na dahil hindi nila naiintindihan, nauunang yung emotion nila. Mas nauunang lumabas yung emotion, imbis naiintindihin kung bakit. Na ikaw, as an adult, kailangan may naiintindihin paano yun i-handle. Kasi hindi nila fully nag-grasp yung, ano, yung situation. May mga ganang. But po on, on the whole, then, and, and, and of course, um, Christine Frank can jump in. The pelikula ba, uh, apart from showing the reality, may matututunan ba yung mga nanonood? Kunyari, ikaw rin, you find yourself in such a situation, may, may, may tututunan ba? Para kahit pa paano siguro, ma-realize nyo may ganito palang side, mas ganito pala ako dapat, and so on and so forth. Uh, for me, <clears throat> In terms of matututunan, marami kayong matututunan dito sa Dear Little Love. Unang-una, sa, sa amin dalawa ni Baron, yung characters na ginampanan namin, doon pa lang meron na. Pagdating to how you relate to the children and our own children, meron din kayong matututunan doon. I will not give any ano na, um, details Kasi that's what the movie is about. Yung... How to relate. Yes. Yes. But, but um, you're very open about the life that you have now. I mean, I know that you you, you love the life that you have now. But um, can you share may mga mahirap din bang moments when you, you have to, when you had to legal, make legal yung mga anak ng wife mo and, and now that you're a family? Yes, a uh, good question. Ganda ng mga sagot nila. Pero I think dapat nakasulat din dito, are you ready? Are you ready to take that chance? Are you ready to take that responsibility? Kasi hindi hindi ganun lang magpakasal lang. Okay. Uh, kaya nga po, bago magpakasal, may mga seminar yan, di ba? And then some people take these seminars for granted, kaya ang daming failed relationships. Because in the beginning of a relationship, it's just sweet. It's always like this honeymoon stage. But what if you come across reality, money issues, 
um, the needs of your children, the needs of your spouse. Na minsan hindi mo mabigay ng mas maayos because you're dealing not only uh, as a father, you're dealing as a provider as well. So ang dami mong ginagjagal in service of the people you work with, your family, your kids. So for a man, it's very demanding. It's no joke. And for a woman naman, in my perspective, ang daming questions. Minsan kulang pa. Kulang pa ba ang binibigay ko sa family ko? There are times, I, me and my wife, I'm working really hard. Kulang pa ba? Ang sagot, panoorin. <laughs> panoorin. But, ano lang din, uh, ang kagandaan ng twist ng pelikula to, it's just not a drama movie. It's a roller coaster ride of uh, different kinds of characters. People at the workplace, family members, <laughs> and so much more. It's just not a story about people in the middle of wanting to get an announcement. Can I just say also, yung mga, alam mo na, tayo mga babae sa relasyon, we need, we need security in terms not just financially, but also security emotionally with your partner. So yun yung, yun yung mapapanood nyo sa Dearly Beloved na shocks, okay, it's not just me thinking like this. It's all the women, not, or not all, but you know, some maybe. You know, yung mga... Mga ka-relate na lang. Yes. Na, kasi may ibang times na, alam mo yun, sa relasyon, hindi na intindihan ng lalaki kung ano yung... yung in-explain natin mga babae. Especially kapag merong ganyan, blended family, they have to deal, the, the guy needs to deal with the ex, with the child, di ba? So, yun. Yeah, so, Maraming sanga-sanga eh. Hindi lang finances, syempre kasama finances, hmm. nagsistruggle relationship, marriage ng iba dahil sa finances, but also yung relasyon niya mismo dalawa. I think it all boils down to if the communication is poor, then the relationship is poor. So that goes with everything in life, no? Uh, in general, Thank you, thank you. We we'll look forward to watching the movie. It seems very, very interesting. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Next in line, we have from Anugana, Erwin Agawa. Hi, Christine. Hi, Baron. Hi, Derek. Uh, first question. Uh, ano yung idea you before uh, about blended family? Then, after doing the film, ano yung realization nyo about blended family? Christine and Baron. To be honest, <laughs> um, blended family, unang una isip, modern family. <laughs> kasi nanonood ako nun eh. Pero kasi comedy naman siya, di ba? Parang pinapag, ginagawa nilang light lang yun. Pero it's actually true, ah, modern family. So yun talaga, but this time, kasi itong dearly beloved, it's ano, dramatic film. So, iba naman yung atake dito. Um, I guess uh, your question was realization. Realization. Um, realization. Talaga, it takes a lot for a person to handle having blended family. It's not just you person, but also the children. It takes a lot of understanding, compassion to understand you state yung sitwasyon ng relasyon namin, ng relasyon namin sa bata, relasyon sa stepkid. So, realization here is it takes a lot of maturity to handle a relationship, to handle a family, and the other outside factors of it. So, Alam ko yung mga ideal family, there's a lot of responsibility there already. 
Pero if you have a blended family, it's double. Thank you. Pero the more the many year. <laughs> yeah, um, before, ano kasi, yung pinanggalinga mo pamilya, napaka, wala pong naghiwalay. Like, uh, yeah. So, mami ko, mga kapatid niya, kung sino yung pinakasalan, yun. So, we looked down sa mga tao before honest we look down sa sa mga tao uh, na pasok sa blended families feeling namin na dumi naman ito or kumbaga na in judgmental ako dahil na ako yon sa kultura ng ng magulang ko pero being in one in a blended family now Sometimes, mas masaya, mas nag-work pa na. Uh, dahil, at mas nagiging maayos kang tao, dahil unang-una, magiging maintindihin ka, yung maturity nandun, yung patience. I think patience is yung pinaka number one rin eh. Especially, you know, for husbands also and for wives. But, uh, it's fun. Ano lang talaga. It's a lot of work. Pero once na makuha mo na yung tamang timla, suwabe na eh. Dere-derecho na free free flying hey, thank you uh, my last question uh, you mentioned earlier uh, Christine and Barna ibang level yung professionalism nyo ngayon diba sa work compared sa before diba so ano yung best advice na mabibigay nyo sa isang newbie sa industry about uh, professionalism best advice you wanna go first yes then Gayain sila. <laughs> Hindi, ano, um, siguro ano lang, um, eto, well, basic lang naman eh, pagtrabaho-trabaho, yun, yun lang. Um, ano eh, sorry kasi parang ano eh, parang usually pag sa work, lalo na sa mundo natin, sa entertainment industry, laging may ano eh, yung, yung connotation ng showbiz, chika, kailangan mong ganto ang ganyan, pero, ano eh, may may lugar para to rin. Pag nagtatrabaho tayo, lalo na pag nasa show, tiyo tayo, gusto na eh. Yun. Lahat dapat ganun yung ano. Ay, eh, maganda sana kung ganun yung mindset na pag nandun tayo sa work, uh, focus lang tayo sa work. Kasi kung gusto mo naman yung ginagawa mo, actually, hindi mo naman feel na trabaho siya eh. Kasi gusto mo siya eh. Gusto mo yung work mo eh. So, mas tamo, mas dapat mo siyang ginagawa ng tama, ng maayos, nagpe-prepare ka ng maayos. So, hindi mo yun na-feel na ang bigat. Sa so, totoo lang, hindi mo yun mafe-feel na mabigat. Kasi lahat kayo, iisa yung goal nyo. Gusto nyo gumawa ng isang material na magiging proud kayo. So, yun. Yun lang, guys. Thank you, Tarek. Ang sagot na ni Tarek. <laughs> That's it? Okay, good luck po sa movie. And okay. also, ano na, the last, uh, attitude of gratitude lang. Uh, being thankful and grateful, I think will help a lot and uh, uh, you'll go a long way once kasi kailan, kailan ko lang na nakuha yung ganong klaseng attitude and thank you Lord no, it's, way, it's working for me to wake up in the morning being grateful for the good and bad and for the blessings and for the problems na God will give me the strength to endure. So, you know, thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks, that was beautiful. It said, Sir Baron. And next, last but not least, we have from Philippine star, Natalie Tomada. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Inun, bali yung first question ko, a forward direct, Marga. Kasi, alam ko yung first 
work experience mo with Baron, kasi Dali Box, di ba po? Um, yun yata yung, correct me if I'm wrong, pero yun pa yung first lead role ni Baron after so many years. So, ayun nga, um, um, ngayon naman, you entrusted your project to Baron again, na siya na naman yung leading man mo. Um, what have you seen so far? Kasi na-intern ka namin nun eh at that time for Netflix. Pero, um, you really fought for him to be your lead star at that time. So, ano nakita mong difference then and now working with him again? Yung ano, yeah, I think na ano ko na kanina. Parang ano, uh, mas ano siya ngayon, mas magaling siya sa, sa lines, sa pag-deliver ng lines. Kasi, um, kahit naman si Barry, kasi nakakausap ko naman siya, ano eh, pag, uh, yun nga, after na nung work, ganyan. Sinasabi niya sa akin yung ano eh, saan siya nahihirapan, saan siya nai-insecure minsan. So, eto ko nung nag-present nag ba photography ng before this, na nakita ko yung malaking improvement niya sa, ano, sa, sa line, sa memorization. Hindi lang yung memorization eh, kasi kailangan pag nag-deliver ka ng line, tama na din yung emotion na nilalabas. Kasi magkaiba rin ano yun eh. Magkaiba rin skill yun na kailangan mong i-develop. And sobra akong natutuwa kay Baron kasi nagawa niya. Nagawa niya yung, kung bagay yung bayan na expectation, parang, oy, galing mo na. <laughs> parang iniisip, ina-expect ko pa parang ano eh, medyo mag-iilang tapes kami, ganyan. But no, balik pa rin kami sa puro tape one, okay, good. <laughs> Yun. So yun, ma malaki yung, ano, for me, malaki yung improvement. Siguro kasi ano rin, in between Dollhouse naman, may iba siyang ginawang projects. Na nahasa din talaga siya. I think, you know naman yung may mga series siyang ginawa rin, di ba? May ginawa rin siya. So, I think nakatulong din yung malaki yun for him. Kaya, nung pagdating nung sa amin, kargado na siya. <laughs> Parang big sister ko, si Direk Marla. So, okay, and to be honest, <clears throat> I wouldn't get to perform that way sa dollhouse kasi talagang hindi ko alam kung ano ginagawa ko. Blank ko ako sa dollhouse. So, so lalapit na rin ni Direk Marla. She'll give me motivations, things to think about para may laman yung mata ko. And then with the lines, memorize mo na yan. Ganito, ganito. But she's calm, calm. Memorize mo yan. Okay, ganito. Magkikita tayo bukas, 6 a.m. On the dot, sa lobby. Mag-roll tayo ng 7. Dapat talaga din ang lines mo. So, na-challenge ako na, na-challenge ako na, na-challenge. Hanggat sa, okay, nung lumabas yung talos, hindi ko in-expect na ganun kaganda ang pag, pag, <laughs> pagka-magic ni Direk sa editing. She really, she fixed it sa editing. No, a lot. Scoring, editing. So, ito, nung binigay sa akin yung chance to work with Direct Marla again, I said, I said to myself that, you know, God, I'm, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna make her proud. Na, and then, habang ginagawa ko rin yung series, konta ako ng konta kay Direct, Direct, alam niyo po, mabilis na po ako mag-memorize ngayon. <laughs> alam niyo yung ganun yung relationship namin na parang big sister ko na, at uh, ito po yung mga improvements ko, direct, ano po ba mga kailangan kong gawin. Uh, hanggang doon, kahit nga kanina sa backstage, may gagawin akong bagong film. And sa ko, direct ha, kapit tayo ha, ganito ganyan, tulungan mo. So I like that, no, we're, we're just not... Uh, okay yung working relationship, tama si direct. Pagdating doon, ang chika namin is about how we attack this scene. Ano yung wants, anong needs. Ano yung konteksto na mga linya? Pero, ang kagandahan pagka, pagkatapos ng film, meron isang ate who will still guide me or he's still guiding me sa career ko and sa acting ko. So I'm very grateful for loving her. Uh, my last question. Um, pwede ipakwento lang ang inspiration talaga ng itong film na to. Um, dahil ba sa uh, Philippine, or mga tingin ng Pilipino sa uh, blended families, or sa tingin ba dahil yung stigma pa ba? Kaya kailangan yung discuss to film, uh, this topic of film. And then, uh, si, ang may sila rin po talaga ng pelikulang to ay si Boss Vincent. <laughs> si, si Boss 
si Boss Vincent po talaga yung nagbigay ng idea na he wanted a story na similar to relasyon na ni Nabil Masantos and Christopher De Leon. So, nung binanggit nila yun, ako actually personally, na-excite ako kasi alam ko may mga kaibigan talaga ako nasa sitwasyon na ganito in the blended families na yun nga, hindi naman, huwag ka pinag-uusapan namin, kami lang, mga ganun, na parang feeling nila, parang tinatawin mo ba? Parang ganyan. So, yun yung ako, na na-excite ako doon nung si Boss Vincent yung nagsabi sa amin na mag-develop kami na story, script, na ganun yung theme. So, challenging siya kasi gusto ko yun na yung film na yun, 1984 pa yung lumabas. So, nung sinabi ni Boss Vincent yun, alam ko ko ano yung film na yun, tapos parang, Chucks, gagawa tayo ng version natin, ng modern version nun. Grabe to. Tapos yun na nga, yung ikakast pa natin. Ako, sino yung version nila ngayong panahon na to? Eh, yun lang. So, yun. Doon naman talaga siya nag-start. Tapos, ayun, of course, syempre nung dinadevelop na namin yung script, ayan na yung mga, based on our research na, mga kilala na namin, ganyan. So, yun, pumasok na siya. And of course, kasama pa rin doon yung current situation kasi natin na wala pa tayong divorce, no? So, very, ano, malaki siyang, ano, bagay na sana, ano, nabigyan ng ano, bosses para sa mga ganong couples na kailangan ng option, ng alternative sa mga relasyon na yun lang, may mga mahirap na pinagdadaanan. Ayun. How did you prepare, prepare? <laughs> How did you prepare for this film? Ano yung mga pinanood mo, Christy? <laughs> Interview mo yan. Ano yung process? Ay, well, napanood marriage story before. <laughs> ako, wala kasi, wala akong, ano eh, wala akong pinanood. Kung baga, nag-base talaga ako sa script. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's not, ano naman eh, um, it's familiar naman with me how to navigate sa blended family because I, I grew up having a blended family, I think. Or like I saw it from my brother, also, and ayo, na kita ko rin sa ibang mga kaibigan ko, so yeah, ganon lang. Yeah, all good, Miss Natalie. Oh, thank you. There you have it.